Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to create a live wallpaper on your iPhone. Now recently with iOS, there's a little bit of a change so you can't really move it when you hold it down here. But if you go ahead and you know have your lock screen for example, and you hold down here, you can see that you'll be able to get a moving wallpaper. Okay, there we go. For some reason it wasn't working before. So you have to hold down just like this and then you go ahead and move it. Now you can go ahead and change this to any video that you want to. Now the first way to do this is an app that I think is okay. It's definitely not the best one, but this app is called Live Wallpaper. I guess that's just the name of the app. Within the app store, you can see it's this specific app right here, Live Wallpaper Maker, Live 4K. Now you will have to have the video installed on your device. So either you made the video yourself, you can screen record a video, whatever the case is, that's relatively the easiest thing to do. Now what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and open up the specific app. You may have to go through a couple of different things within the app itself. I will tell you, they're going to try to make you buy a, you know, a full version, but you don't have to. You can just click the X button on the top and pretty much move on from there. Now you can see this is the video or the wallpaper that I made before, but once you get into the app, you'll pretty much get into this specific panel. Now what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and click on this little option right here, and it's going to prompt you to click a certain video. Now you can see I have a ton of videos here. None of them are really that good looking, but let's go ahead and use, I guess, like this video for an example. So apparently I can't because this video is too long. So if I go and click something like this, you can see that it'll go ahead and show me the video that I just made. And now once you're here, you can go ahead and shorten and increase the specific video length as much as you want to. Sorry, it's so bright, it just automatically does it. So all you have to do here is pretty much just click create. And what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and create the video or the live video from this one. So as you can see, this is what it's going to look like. Again, it's very stupid, but you can go and make it whatever you want to. You want to go and click save, and it's going to allow you to save this specific video. And it is making me watch a video in order to save it, so I guess that's what you're gonna have to do. And then once the video saves, all you have to do is pretty much hop out of here, and you want to make your way over to that photo app, so just like this, and you'll see that you have this new little video now. Now when you hold it down, you'll see that you pretty much are able to see that it's an actual video instead of just a wallpaper. So all you have to do here is click on the video. You wanna go ahead and click share right there. And you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see use as wallpaper. So you wanna click use as wallpaper. Now you can save it as both your lock screen and whatever, but in this case, I'll go ahead and set it as both. And what happens is, is once you hop out of here, you can go ahead and lock your screen, go in here, and you'll see that it is an actual moving wallpaper. And there we go, it's an actual moving wallpaper, which is so cool. So you can do this to any wallpapers that you want to. So that's the very first way to do it. Now, the second way to go ahead and make you, you know, basically have a actual moving wallpaper instead of just a standard one. Again, it doesn't work here, but even if you swipe down here and you hold down right there, you can see that it does move. Without being jailbroken, this is probably the best way to do it. Now, what you wanna do is instead of that first app that we downloaded, there is another app that's honestly probably even better than this one, which is called Into Live. Now, I've talked about this one before and it's a really, really good wallpaper in my opinion, and or it's a really good app. Now, you wanna go ahead and search up on the App Store Into Live, Live Wallpapers. And once you go ahead and do that, you wanna go ahead and open up this specific app. Now, I have not even opened it up yet, so you're seeing what you're going to see in the first time you open it. So it's going to go ahead and tell you a bunch of this stuff. You wanna go and click Getting Started or whatever. Now, when you get this pop-up, very important, you want to go ahead and allow access to all photos. And as you can see, I didn't do it, so I'm going to have to go in here. Now, once you allow access to all photos, you want to find a specific video that you want to set as your wallpaper. Now, as I mentioned before, you're going to have to have that wallpaper on your device in order to actually go and set it as your wallpaper. So in this case, I will go ahead and use, I guess, this video. It's a little bit different. It's pretty ugly, but we're just going to have to do it. Now, it's going to tell you I'm not going to really allow that. It's very weird. And now what it's going to do, it's going to tell you to pinch and zoom to whichever way you want the video to look. So in this case, I'll set it like this and I'll go ahead and kind of shrink it down a little bit. I'm going to change the canvas from this to basically something like this. So it looks more like an actual video on your iPhone. And now here you can go ahead and zoom in or zoom out as much as you want to. So now this is pretty much what it's going to look like on my iPhone. So once that's done, all you have to do is pretty much click make, I think on the top right. And it's going to tell you, you know, whether it repeats, repeats two times. I guess we can't have it repeat. So we're just going to have to click no repeat for it being free. And it's going to tell you not to leave. And at this point, all you have to do is click save live photo. And then it's going to tell us that it's been saved. We just have to hop out of here. We to make our way over to our photos app. And we will now see that new video that we just made. And when you hold it down, you'll see that it does move, which is so cool. Now, as I mentioned before, it's a very small video. I didn't have it for that long. But what you want to do here is click that little share button down here and pretty much save it as your wallpaper. So you want to click use as wallpaper. You want to click set. You can set it as both. 
And what's going to happen is once you go ahead and either swipe down here or lock your display, when you hold it down, you'll see that the wallpaper does actually move, which is so cool. Now, again, these are horrible videos. They don't really make any sense, but I would recommend you to actually change it to a video that you actually prefer. So that's really pretty much it. Just a quick little tutorial. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.